Testing shows jewelry loaded with the toxic metal cadmium is on the shelves of some national retailers. Consumer advocates were hopeful cadmium had disappeared from the U.S. jewelry market. Prolonged exposure to cadmium can cause cancer and reproductive harm. After an AP investigation in 2010 found the chemical in kids' jewelry made in China, several states outlawed it in children's jewelry. The Center for Environmental Health recently tested jewelry purchased at stores near its Oakland, California office, including Ross, Nordstrom Rack, and Papaya. The nonprofit found dozens of items, mostly jewelry attached to women's dresses and shirts, containing high levels of cadmium. In results shared exclusively with the AP, 31 items had anywhere from 40% to more than 90% cadmium. It's very disappointing that we're still seeing cadmium, an incredibly toxic metal, in jewelry. We found it in 2010, and 36 companies agreed to eliminate it. Now, unfortunately, in 2018, we have to do the same thing again. Consumer protection groups say regardless of where items are made, domestic retailers are responsible for selling safe products to American consumers. And what we're going to do now is we're going to file legal notice and we're going to force those companies to stop exposing customers to that toxic chemical. In a written statement, Ross said it had addressed this issue with our supplier, but did not say whether it pulled suspect jewelry from stores. A Nordstrom spokesperson said the company is reaching out to vendors to make them aware of the situation and get more information on the items. And an attorney representing Papaya said the company had recalled the product and stopped doing business with any manufacturer which fails to comply. The Fashion Jewelry and Accessories Trade Association says the limited sampling doesn't suggest a larger problem. We are very surprised to find the cadmium is still showing up and uh, you know there you cannot legisla legislate uh, against the bad players you know and uh, unfortunately there are always going to be bad players at hand uh, in, in whatever you're doing. The jewelry industry helped write voluntary U.S. standards following the AP investigation but the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission did not mandate any cadmium limits. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Oakland, California.